know yet. Like I haven't experienced that 500 race, so this year is probably good to go there and be a spectator. You know, I'll be in the ARCA race, the Xfinity race, and then Sunday I want to be there as a spectator, take in the race, try and enjoy it, and, and then I'll guess guess I'll get to feel how much of a big race it is for everyone. Well, what kind of media coverage does the Daytona 500 get in New Zealand? Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty decent. Like, it is it is a big race to watch. It's probably the biggest NASCAR race, I guess, in that part of the world until Chicago last year. Yeah. <laughs> what are the nerves of a race car driver anticipating what pack racing would be like? What's that like for you? Yeah, it's, um, it's different. Like, I have no idea what I'm in for, and uh, Kevin Harvick's been really good for advice, and you know, talking about getting safe in the car and how to look around for things and what to be useful. But, you know, he said, just be prepared. It's going to be the biggest hits you're ever going to take, you know. So that's not a nice thing to hear, but <laughs> it's reality. And, um, yeah, it's just how it's going to be. It's it's completely different racing. you just got to get through it, try and place your car in the right spots and survive to the end by the looks. I've been there in a GT car but never sort of entered the banking corners flat and thing the sim doesn't prepare you for is like the negative g into the banking that was a pretty cool feeling but yeah driving by itself was okay but i haven't really done much pack stuff yet so watching those races and studying it looks nuts so yeah not sure what it's going to be like in the middle of a pack like that but yeah that kind of racing is probably the most far removed from anything i've ever done but looking forward to it yeah no, that's been a shock coming from summer but yeah i've never really been lived in a place this cold but it's been nice. The weather's been awesome otherwise, and yeah, lots of cool places to go training, running, trail running and stuff. So yeah, loving it. Everyone's really nice, and we're on base in Mooresville. It's close to, you know, track house, not too far to Corlig and stuff. So it's been really cool. our food, like yeah. McDonald's on it, so. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to take a bit of getting used to, yeah. <laughs> Is there a food that you miss already? Hey? Is there a food that you miss already? Uh, no, you can get most things here, but. Yeah, everything you get, there's a lot of, so you've got to be disciplined, I guess, yeah. <laughs> well, what has been your favorite thing so far that you, as being here, that you, in the area, being in, in the, the capital of NASCAR racing? I guess just everything, like, when you walk in the workshop, you feel the passion of everyone and enthusiasm, even though it's the off-season. When I arrived in December, you could tell everyone was ready for a break, and then already in January, walking in the shop there, a um, couple of days after New Year's, everyone's pumped up, ready to get going, cars are getting built, and... Yeah, just the, the atmosphere on the team is really cool.